Hola y bienvenidos a otra lección. Today we're going to be talking about using the preterite and the imperfect to describe a situation. Now in the past we've used the preterite to talk about actions that BAM are completed in the past. You know it has a specific beginning, specific end. We've talked about that. And we've used the imperfect to talk about the way things used to be, things you used to do. I was a good kid. I studied all the time. I played with my friends. Things like that. So we've used the preterite and we've used the imperfect but we've used them separately. Today we're going to talk about how to use them together and when to use them together. Before we do that, let's just take a quick glance at the preterite. You'll recall that the, uh, the preterite has, uh, has these endings, the AR are in green. So like a verb like hablar, a verb like hablar, and you want to say I talked. Yesterday I talked with my friend. It would be hablé. Okay? There's your ending what we see there. And if you have an ER or IR verb like comer, it would be ayer comí pollo con arroz. Comí. So once again, e, aste, o, amos, aron are your endings, or e, iste, yo, imos, yeron are your endings for ERs and IRs. Okay, that should be review. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. I just wanted to remind you real quick what those were. Ellos jugaron. Nosotros comimos. Um, él se divertió. Tú compraste la ropa. Okay, so those are our preterites. Moving on to the imperfect, you'll remember these, um, the ARs. I hope you kind of go along this with me. ARs in the yo form, they end in aba. Él hablaba. Siempre hablaba. Todos los días hablaba. Hablabas. Hablaba, hablábamos, with an accent, skip the vosotros, hablaban. Okay, so you remember that the imperfects have those endings in the AR form, and the imperfect in the ERIR form, do you remember what those are? Ella comía, ella siempre comía mm, helado, mm, helado. Comías, comía, comíamos, comían. Okay. So those were our endings for the imperfect, things that used to be going on. Once again, flipping back and forth, you'll, you'll remember that sometimes in class I've said preterites are the easeos and the imperfects are the abas and the iyas. So if you want to keep, if you're grammatical that way and you want to keep those two straight, that's what it is. Otherwise, we can just work with them and you'll learn them and not have to learn the grammatical side of it. Okay, so those are the preterite and perfect. Now, today's lesson real quick, I want to talk about when you use them together. We talked in class, I said that, you know, for example, if yesterday I went to Filibertos y compré un burrito de carne asada y comí un burrito de carne asada. That's a bam. You know, I, it's something I did. So, that's a printer action. I'll represent it with an X because it's X on your timeline. It's something that happened. However, if it's something that was going on, this is kind of like a timeline thing going on here. If it's something that was going on, I was eating a carne asada burrito when all of a sudden, Justin Bieber walked in. I was reading a book when the doorbell rang. Okay. So this action that's going on on your timeline, even though I ate a carne asada burrito is a bam, if it's something that was going on when something else happened, it's going to become imperfect. For example, let me, let me write out the sentence here. Yo comía Un burrito cuando él entró. Now, of course, I could say yo estaba comiendo, I was eating. But yo comí un burrito cuando él entró. I was eating a burrito when he entered. Okay, another example. 
if we're setting up a scene, if we're describing a situation, what something was right, like, what something that's happened. Okay. Um, I could say, ayer hicimos un picnic. We had a picnic yesterday. Okay. Bam. Preterite action. But if I were, I could change that. And I could say that ayer, yesterday, hacíamos un picnic cuando empezó a llover. So in this case, we've got an, something that was going on, a situation. We were having a picnic, okay? So that was something in progress. That's going to be imperfect. You recognize that's an imperfect ending? Something that was going on when, bam! Predator action. Empezó a llover. Okay? So that is going to be our predator. Okay? Because it's bam on your timeline started to rain. But you can't really tell that that says preterite, but that's preterite. Okay, so here, here is the case where we're using, <laughs> I keep doing this as if you know what I'm talking about, something that's going on, imperfect, when bam, something else happens, preterite. Okay? That's the main point we want to get across in this lesson, is that you can use the preterite and imperfect together, describe a situation, something that was going on, when something else happened. Okay, the last thing to mention on this subject is that when you're describing what something was like, you know, a person, a place, a thing, when you're describing what something was like in the past, we'll still use the imperfect. For example, if I had a really big house, got some plants, walkway, door, a bunch of window. okay, anyway, you get the idea. If I lived in a very big house when I was little, some people might say, some people might say, hey, la casa fue enorme. But actually, if we're describing something in the past, we would use the imperfect. If we're describing something from the past, we're, we're generally going to use the imperfect. Era enorme. Okay? Ellos eran amigos. That guy that I saw yesterday, Era alto. Era bien alto. Okay. Um, so the place this gets confusing is when you're talking about the age of somebody because you want to say, well, age has specific beginning and specific end. But you're, if you're describing them, we'll still use the imperfect. Tenía 15 años. Tenía 16 años. Okay. So also describing situations. I'm sorry. Describing things, people, places in the past will typically use the imperfect. Okay, that is all for this lesson. Okay, your assignment. Those of you that are my students, here you go. I want you to write one sentence to tell me, let's see, how old you were when you started at this high school. How old were you when you started studying here? Um, that's your first one. Your second one. Describe the place that you lived when you were five years old. Describe the place that you lived when you were five years old. And you might have to do one or two sentences. Uh, one or two sentences on that one. Okay? Um, last one is a translation. How would you write, we were having fun when it started to rain? And you might have to rewind in the video. You have a little hint back there. We were having fun when it started to rain. Okay? Remember, divertirse is reflexive, so you'll have the nos in front of it. Okay, and that's it for this lesson. Buena suerte. Ciao.